Hello guys, um, this is Jonathan Stemman and in this video I want to show you guys a project that I have done at college. So basically I've created this whole entire code by myself, um, but basically this is a college work I had to do but I just want to share with the whole world just because I just want to show you guys what I have learned with Python. So basically what I had to do was create a something about college tutorial and about a software which allows people to basically add in their points add in um, how much points they have, what team they are in, and their names and stuff like that. So basically it's like a college tournament, so they do sports and we give them some points, we say um, what team they are on and so on. So basically this is like a basic um, database. So I'm going to share the code below um, in the description so that way guys can give me some feedback because I am still am working on this, but I think it's looking pretty good so far. Now, as you guys can see, this is the entire source code. There's some comments in it, such as this is to connect to a database, which is what I have on the actual place. So this is the database I have on my um, on this system, on this um, on this software. So we'd be able to do all that, and so on. So this is entirely created by me, and I have decided to do that. So this is a secure. Uh, it's not defined. I think there's an error there, but I can fix that later. It does seem like it's gonna be working right now. It's I already tested it on Windows so far, but I can test on Linux right now. So basically, this is using um I had done this on on Windows, so I haven't really done much on it with um with Linux. Okay, I need to update for code a little bit. Um, hold on. If I change this to maybe like a, a no, okay, this goes down. Okay, okay. So guys, um, let me just change this to maybe a nine, and then that should just be a lot easier to see. Yeah. Okay, so um, let me just change some of this to maybe an A instead. A. Really? Now we could just change that one to that. It does look a lot better on um, Windows, but yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, so this is basically all I have. This is normally like um, a lot smaller on Windows, but because they're both within systems, then that's expected. So this is college tournament software I had to do for college. So basically, um, we can add a new record, which will basically, if I add a number seven, and then if we add our first name, which is Jonathan, and then we can add our last name, which is Stedman, and now we can see what team we're on. So for example, if we're a pink team, then we can do that, and then we can give ourselves some points. So for example, 12, and that should allow us to create a new record. So once I've created a new record, what you can also do is select this record, and we can also press on to update record, and this should delete it. Now, for some random reason, if we want to update a, um, a database, if we want to update one of these records, then we just need to click onto them, select record, and from here, we'll be able to change it, such as if I change this to page, um, page girly, because this is a good game. So if once we change this to page girly, and we say that she may be on the yellow team, so she can be on the yellow team, and now we can give her like around 12 points, and now once we update for record, then we should see that page girly has been added to the database. Now, um, so this is basically how we can add some new information to the database. We can update this by going back to select and we'll show you guys one more time. We can call this one Lily and then we can call this one King. And then from here, what you guys can do is give them a good name. So for example, Pink, um, which is a pretty good team. And then we can give them some points and now we can update for record and so on. If we don't like what's written in for record, if we or if we made a mistake, then we can control select record and then from here we'll be able to change any updates such as if we don't want her no longer to be on a pink team then we can say that she's on the yellow team and now we can update the record and there's updates for record so basically this is um we got only got six data in there um i'm still i'm trying to figure out how to delete this record though so that way it just doesn't show up because when you normally like add a record then you can see another one but if we try to delete them then they're still over here so this is what I'm still I'm trying to figure out how to delete this part that you guys can see that's highlighted. But I think that um, once I figured this out, then everything should be fine. 
but I like Voyage already anyway. It's quite a small program and it's going to be giving me hopefully a good score for college. Uh, let me just select this one and now we can do one more. So we can do Jonathan and then we can do Stedman. And now we can give myself the pink team because pink is a cool color. And now what we can do is give ourselves 12 points. And now we can add a new record and that should add a record. See, this is a problem I was having is that these two are there, but you can see some new data will be below it. So I'm going to try to delete these two. So that way we can maybe add the delete button. So that way these two can get deleted. But this is basically what I'm working on so far. Um, is this part so i'm able to get the database working and you can update this if i want to do so you can go select and so on so yeah this is basically what the software is right now so this is a whole code to the actual software is created of tk intar and the database that i'm using is qsq light free um which is basically what our teacher recommended us to use um but yeah basically it's linked to a database um, and this is the actual um, code if you guys want to have a look at so you guys can pause it and read through it and maybe just suggest some uh, feedback for me to improve this on and now there is also a make database um, python file so you guys will be able to read through this if you wanted to and just see what else there is um, in the code so feel free to look at that and that also should be a database file that should come with it um, it should be updated automatically, but um, this is what we guys should be able to see. It's called tor.database, which is created of SQLite. So this is a readme file, which everyone knows what that is. Just to give you a title what the software is all about. And yeah, so this is um, what I've been doing at college so far, is creating this software, which took me ages to complete. <laughs> uh, and I've got a few errors in this code, but I guess that's cool. Anyway guys, that was just a short video just to show you guys um, for software that I really want to show you guys because um, basically I was my first time ever making a software that would link to a database. So yeah, that was actually...